When you think of the worst anime ever made, what comes to mind? Maybe a sequel that didn't live up to expectations? Maybe an anime that's terrible for moral reasons? Or maybe it's just simply an anime that didn't click with you at all? Well, I got curious to see what people consider to be the worst anime ever made, so I looked for each seasonal lineup on my anime list, which, for those who don't know, is a website for tracking anime which you've seen and I found the worst ones from each season. I did however set some rules for myself to ensure that I was getting the finest garbage possible. Rule number one, no hentai. I think I'd have to put this video on another site if I reviewed one. Rule number two, no anime that are bad for more reasons, as I, I don't want to go to prison or throw up just for making this video. Rule number three, the total runtime must be at least 10 minutes long. Just because when I was searching for anime, I found that there were a whole hell of a lot of stuff that were a few second long animations or logo or some avant-garde piece that people just didn't understand or something. Which is really not what I'm looking for. And finally, rule number four. It must be Japanese. So that means no Chinese donkwas or Korean ayanese. I think those are how you pronounce them. Apologies if I'm wrong. And that is simply because I do not count them as anime, they are separate things. I originally considered making an exception for the Korean Dragon Ball ripoff Super Child just because I thought it'd be funny, but I really don't like bending my own rules so I decided against it. Also, the reason why I decided to do individual videos for each of these reviews is to kind of give me a push to actually edit them, because Editing together something like this would take a whole hell of a long time if I did them all together, so I think it'd be way easier to split them up. Anyway, let's get this guy binge started. With Bandai Namco's 2014 anime, Wonder Momo. Wonder Momo is an anime adaptation of Namco's 1987 beat em up arcade game of the same name. At the time of recording, the show currently has a score of 3.48 out of 10 on Mal. However, that number is subject to change. Heck, when I recorded this part of the video previously, it was actually 3.70 out of 10. It's just decreased. I was thinking, there's only 5 episodes which are 7 minutes long each, so it surely can't be that bad, right? Well, we'll just have to see. The story for the show is that it follows Mobiko Kanda, a teenage high school girl who dreams of becoming an idol. However, she cannot get any jobs. At some point she bumps into a mysterious green alien on the way to an audition who later turned out to have given Momoko the ability to transform into Wonder Momo, a superhero thought previously to only be an urban legend. She then uses her newfound powers to defeat aliens throughout Japan. After watching the show, I can certainly see why this anime has terrible reviews because it is really bad. But despite that, I actually found myself really enjoying the show, not just because of the writing being so hilariously bad, but also because of how weird the show can get. Like, where else can you find aliens using Oreos as strategy pieces before sparing someone's life in exchange for a bikini photo? But enough talking about how fun the show is, because there's a lot which the show fails at. First of all, like I said previously, the writing is terrible. Like, let me give you some examples. At some point in the show, Momoko is unsure as to whether she can become an idol and a superior at the same time. And that stems from her being insecure because of stuff which the other idols have said to her. After a big battle in the final episode, she randomly says this. Like, what? Why the hell did you realise that now? You've literally been talking to hero idols for a while now, so why did a random battle make you realise this? There's also a time in literally the first episode where Momoko jokingly says, This is the part where I turn into a superhero and save everyone, right before she turns into a superhero and saves everyone. So, yeah, the writing is pretty terrible throughout, but that's not all that's bad about the show, because the voice acting is probably some of the worst you'll hear in a Japanese sub, especially on the alien characters. Like, I genuinely thought that the voice acting in the 1993 JoJo's Bizarre Adventure of years was bad, but this is on a whole nother level. Animation-wise, most of the time, 
it looks kind of average, but it's sometimes being a bit bad. The only part with great animation is the transformation sequence which appears in every single episode of the show. I wouldn't say it's the ugliest anime around, but it's certainly not the prettiest either. The characters are really bad, as they usually either give out dialogue that doesn't really make so much sense for the situation or just kind of sucks, or their behaviour just doesn't really make much sense. Like at some point in the show, Momoko's mother, who is actually uh, the original Wonder Momo and is played by the same voice actress, grounds her for saving lives. You know, the thing that you'd normally get praise for? Honestly, throughout the show, I felt kind of bad for Momoko. Like, she just gets punished for no reason, the other idols don't like her, and she's just plain unlucky. I'd have to say that all of the issues I've listed up until now aren't really that big of an issue. When compared to the final issue of the show ending on a cliffhanger, which is apparently sold in a mobile game. Yes, you heard me right. You have to play a mobile game in order to watch the ending to Wonder Momo. Now, this shouldn't be too big of a deal as you could just play in a mobile game, right? I mean, looking at YouTube videos of it, it's only about an hour long. But there's the issue. The game was delisted nine years ago, which normally you'd just be able to re-download and play the game right. Well, I tried to play the game on both my phone and Bluestacks after downloading the APK from archive.org. However, my phone said that the app was incompatible, so it would not install, and Bluestacks was just stuck loading the game. So, unless someone can find a way around this, there's no way to currently play the game. Meaning that what may be the true ending to Wonder Momo is currently inaccessible outside of Let's Play videos. Well, at least every company's learnt their lesson by now, and no other company will attempt to make you play games to understand the story. That all said, I can definitely see why this anime has negative reviews, but I'd definitely say that if you're the type of person that can enjoy something that's so bad it's good, I'd say give it a look. And heck, maybe at some point someone will find a way to play in a mobile game so that we can get the full story. I'll give Wonder Mobile a 2 out of 10 for quality, but a 7 out of 10 for enjoyment.